Good day everyone, this is Mike and we are back to our latest analysis for this uh, Thursday through Saturday, November 10 to 12, 2022 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. This is our English version for the uh, weather situation across the Philippine Islands. Let's begin. Here's the latest graph set uh, that we issued yesterday, Wednesday, November 9 until today, Thursday, November 10. Uh, we have the uh, easterlies. This is a warm uh, winds from the Pacific, bringing some thunderstorms across the eastern sections of the country, and that includes uh, eastern Luzon, Bicol region, Visayas, and uh, Mindanao. Some of them are now penetrating across the Sulu Archipelago and uh, Palawan. While the shear line, which uh, has been affecting uh, the eastern sections of Luzon, has retreated more to the northeast, and it's just affecting the uh, coastal waters of uh, Cagayan Valley uh, along uh, northern and eastern Cagayan, eastern Isabela, and uh, Batanes, Baboy, and Cuba Islands. Elsewhere, we don't have any developing tropical uh, disturbances or LPAs or even tropical cyclone formation in sight for the next uh, one week. But for next week, it's still a question mark because one model, again, the usual, the aggressive model, the GFS or the American model, is forecasting a cyclone approaching the Philippine Sea. Uh, some sometime between November 18 to 20, but the uh, latest from the European model doesn't show uh, anything uh, in response to that GFS model, so it's not yet uh, uh, sure if it, it will push through, but uh, at this time we are going to observe the situation of this uh, American model. But uh, if uh, the uh, European model doesn't act up, okay, the situation uh, will not push through. And here's the fast animation. As you can see, these are the uh, uh, strong easterlies, mainly due to the La Nina. That's why they are quite active all the way from uh, the uh, Marshall Islands across the uh, Philippine Islands. And we have here some. Uh, uh, surface trough here converging okay while the shear line over here is starting to retreat and it's just affecting uh, the uh, north philippine sea here's the windy.com zoom in satellite animation this is for uh, beginning last night until early this morning it's already 1 a.m and you can still see some rain conditions across mindanao visayas Sulu Archipelago and the Palawan. So our graph set for tomorrow will change, uh, showing this uh, enhanced or intensifying easterlies across uh, Visayas and Mindanao. Okay, so don't forget to bring your umbrellas, Fox down there in Mindanao, Visayas, Palawan, and Sulu Archipelago. Here's the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until uh, Saturday. We expect rainfall activity, thunderstorms across Mimaropa, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, Mindanao, eastern sections of the Bicol region, eastern Luzon, particularly northern Quezon. We'll have a share of this rain and thunderstorms thought about by the building easterly surface wind flow. And for the uh, wind and pressure forecast by uh, tomorrow afternoon, we still expect uh, easterlies to affect the country all throughout the uh, weekend until Saturday and Sunday. These are purely easterly surface wind flow. And uh, we are uh, going to forward this computer model. This is the uh, American model moving now towards Thursday. Uh, November 17 and uh, Friday November 18 there is a uh, developing area of low pressure here because on uh, November 19 Saturday or that will be eight days from now 
there is a developing inflammatory depression to the east of Bicol region. We are going to observe this, but again, the probability of uh, 9 to 10 day forecast is at 0 to 20 percent. Very low, so it won't, uh, it may develop or not, uh, since it's on the uh, very low probability, so it is likely it will not continue since the European model, this is the European model, doesn't show not, doesn't show anything, okay, yet, uh, as of this time. But we are uh, continuing uh, to uh, monitor the situation. Usually after a series of tropical cycle formation over the Philippine Islands, we have to experience this one to two weeks uh, rest or uh, break of tropical cycle formation so we are uh, now uh, monitoring the latter part of november until the last weeks until the last few weeks of uh, november 2022 okay so if we check on the global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA. This is the next, uh, for the next two, uh, two, two, two to three weeks, okay? So for the uh, week two, valid November 16 to 22, this is already based on the American model. That's why they say it's now at more than, more than 40% of a tropical cyclone formation for week two to the east of the Philippine Islands. So this is now uh, reflecting on what the American models the American model shows, okay? The American model shows uh, for this uh, uh, new forecast. While on weekly, it doesn't show any tropical cyclone development because the tropical cyclone formation uh, probability is only uh, focused on the second week. So on weekly, it's more of the rain, temperature, and it shows here that the Philippine Islands will remain at more than 50% probability of above average rainfall because mainly due to the La Nina uh, climate. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Thursday until Saturday. And we will return on Saturday to give you the final uh, update for the weekend so that so that you'll always be prepared on uh, what will be the weather for the next uh, couple of days until next week. Again, this is Mike Padua, and, and see you guys on uh, Saturday. Stay safe always, hashtag WeatherWiser, and uh, see you on Saturday.